Hello there, and welcome back to another Thunder's Productions video. I'm the madman behind the mic, Jag Thunder, and this is Minecraft. And what's up, guys, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Build a Military Airfield. So we should be on episode 15, I do believe. And someone had suggested, and I meant to mention this in the last video, and I haven't got to the comments yet, so I can't remember what video it was from, but somebody has suggested making these in parts. Um, it was on the towers. Uh, somebody had, had said something about putting like part one of three, part two of three, three of three. I need to go back and do that. Um, so hopefully by the time this one comes out, maybe that's what I will do. This one will not have a part on it yet, uh, just because I don't know how many parts there's going to be. <laughs> Should be three or four. Uh, but anyways, we'll still keep the episode number on there, um, but there there should be a part one of whatever, or part two of whatever. So very good suggestion. Um, hopefully I pop the name up on the screen to uh, uh, basically say thanks. <laughs> anyways, uh, so this is what we have so far. We are building the B-52 bomber uh, hangar bay, uh, which is uh, significantly different from the other hangar bays that I uh, have on the airfield. And, of course, the ones over there I took out. Uh, yeah, hopefully you caught that episode about two episodes back and uh, but anyways this one is different it is uh, a nice dome design and that's what we're working on and in this episode we are going to be working on the front and the back doors which basically we're going to build the back doors I'm going to locate for the front doors and then build them off camera but what I have and what I'm doing or trying to figure out and this was here in the last episode too uh, is trying to figure out a, uh, a design for the panels uh, the main, you know, the main panel doors are open and closed. There's, uh, what I'm going to assume probably would be th maybe three panels, from what I can see on the on the pictures that I'm using, that are going to tuck into um, that the side wall piece right here. So I've got three wide, you know, just kind of, you know, little mock up here. And did I want to do the smooth with some upside down stairs and break up the panel a little bit, uh, or just use smooth sandstone or just stick with the bricks. I think I'm going to go with the smooth and see how it looks for the panels. Uh, the rest of the doors I will leave in uh, the regular sandstone and the panels I'll do in smooth and uh, for the most part they're going to be set back anyways. They're going to be open so you're not really going to see too much of them uh, anyways. Just a couple of the blocks hanging out. Um, on the other ones once I get this done and I MC edit it and throw it over here I may actually do one with like the back doors closed or something like that, uh, but I think I will do it in the smooth sandstone. So anyways, let's fly over here and let's figure out uh, how to locate for the doors. Uh, so anyways, we should have a center line right here, and I got rid of it when I was doing my stacking and all that. I've got it in the front, but I forgot to add it in the back, so it's right about here, and it looks like it's about maybe halfway down this piece right here. And I know it's kind of dark looking in, but I'm gonna be on the outside, so I'm gonna leave the shaders on. And uh... yeah, I, <laughs> it was driving me nuts for the longest time. Uh, and I, and I, I couldn't I couldn't do nothing but annotate in the video, um, just how bad it was irritating me. <clears throat> Excuse me guys. Uh, all the, uh, the stuttering and the, um, uh, the lag that I was picking up in all them episodes. And of course they were all pre-recorded, and I had fixed the problem, but <laughs> I hadn't recorded any new episodes. So you guys had to deal with it for like four to five or six episodes. And I, I got it figured out. I had a corrupted um, I had a corrupted mod for one. And then I had another mod that I was using. It was another reach command that I was trying out called More Commands. Um, that was clashing with my world edit because it's a, you know, it's, you know, you use the hashtags for more commands and, and world edit. And it didn't like all the extra commands. And my throat's a little sore, guys. I am getting over a cold. Uh, so I've got a uh, cough drop in my mouth, so you'll probably hear some slurpy action. <laughs> so, anyways, uh, but I've got that worked out, and hopefully you noticed in the last episode, it was a lot smoother. I was really, really happy with it. But anyways, we are on the back door here, and uh, it looks like for this opening, uh, it's going to go above the opening. Again, so right here is the center line. Uh, how wide are we going to do that? I don't want to quite, do I want to do that whole, that whole thing maybe? Right here, go up by, it's not quite that high. Might be about two. And then same thing here, up by two. And that does have a little bit of a dome to it. So I think is what I'm gonna do is that, 
and then probably half slabs in the middle. One, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, something like that. And then there's looks like, and I'll, and I'll have a picture over the screen, I'm sure, like I usually do, guys. Um, this upper door, I'm not sure if this rolls up in. Um, it's got to be separate from the side panels because you can see the side panels roll back on the, on the sides. <laughs> High-tech shed. <laughs> uh, anyways, this opening here looks like it's either a garage door where it rolls up in or this also opens to the side. No, it can't open to the side. There's nothing to the side. This rolls up in. This door rolls up in like a garage door. Boom. Like that. So this opens up for the wing to come through. So yeah, that's that's definitely what that is. Hmm. I'm noticing too, I'm I'm really, 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 really a lot higher than I probably should be. Hmm. Because the tail section it goes through. Let's see here. Oh, I got the wrong block. Let's let's put this in here first. But I'm I'm thinking this opening is going to be wow. It's going to be huge. It's going to be way too big. And uh, we'll have some questions here in a little bit from episode seven is where we're pulling from. All right. So anyways, there's the wing or the uh, the vertical stabilizer, and we go with that width right here. Right there and here let's kind of figure this out that's gonna be a pretty damn tall opening so I think I could probably maybe leave this and just let's take this off and just put the half slabs on top because I definitely don't want to make this any taller than what it already is so let's put some half slabs back in one two three four one, two, three, four, three on the outside. So that kind of gives that that rounded look. <clears throat> and then this is going to get set back by one. <laughs> and you can hear my voice is just starting to <clears throat> in and out. Uh, this door goes in. So actually, I think I'm going to push it back one more. And we're going to make it with some slabs like this. So it makes it look like that's part of the door rolled up in. For now, for now. We'll, we'll go back and change this later. And then on the outside of that, let's see, this is going to come down. Now let's put this back in because it's one on each side, like that. Shit, I just messed up. There. And there. And this is going to go all the way down. I really don't think I want to take it down that far. But I want to take it down far enough where it makes sense for it to be there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> know what I'm saying? Shit. <laughs> I'm going to have to go down that far. But I'm not going to make the opening quite uh, that tall. So yeah, a little, little bit uh, miscalculation on the uh, the outside radius. But I wanted enough room on the sides because there's, you know, like little workshops over here for, for working on this thing. And I think there's actually cranes inside too from, from what it looks like. But I can't really tell. Uh, and, and it took a while just to figure out um, this diameter circle cir circle for this one um, so yeah I'm definitely definitely off a little bit but I, I think it'll be okay and because I'm gonna do that I'm gonna put this back and we're gonna bring this down a lot further I don't need that right now and let's bring it down one more maybe maybe like that did I put half slabs up here yet Oh, I did. Oh, you, you idiot. <laughs> Thanks for telling me, guys. <laughs> Assholes. <laughs> we got to add this on the side. All right, so that's... The, I, I, I went where the half slabs were instead of the, uh, the entire top piece. Um, so, yeah. Let's go down one more here. Going down four, it looks like. And, yeah, I think that'll make a nice opening. And then... For the framing, we're just going to go too wide on the sides, just like that. And uh, we'll take this out and go too wide on this side. And then we'll fly back and take a look at it. And I think this will actually probably work out pretty decently. Yeah. Hmm. 
I'll go one more. Yeah, that's enough to get the tail through. It looks like, I mean, that frame's pretty thick. I think I'll stay with a, with two on that one. Let's get this dirt out of the way. And then take this back and that back. Get rid of the dirt. And... Yeah, I think that'll work. Yeah, I think that'll work. All right, let's take this to the outside. And I'll start with our first question from Tyler Heimer or Himmer. Sorry, guys, if I pronounce your names wrong. I, I, I suck with names. <laughs> I'm sure I will um, uh, hack them up pretty bad. Uh, he asked me, how do I stay motivated during the big builds? Uh, it's rough. <laughs> uh, this, let's see, this has to go to the outside by one more. Um, it's, it's, it's difficult. Um, when, when I'm just building it for me the first time through, um, it's exciting because it's, it's, it's a new build. Um, and it's, uh, hopefully, it's something I really wanted to build anyways. And uh, so it's pretty easy to actually stay motivated. Um, when I'm doing the tutorials, not so much. <laughs> tutorials are really hard. I mean, they are. They're a pain in the ass. Um, I love doing them uh, when they're done uh, because you know I love seeing all the comments and you know seeing you guys really really happy about uh, you know getting through it and having you know, having the build and and all that kind of shit. But it does it, it, it's it's hard to stay motivated. It's it's because I get frustrated uh, a lot. It's like my second time through and I'm and I'm usually you know fucking up a lot. Is that too much? Does that look a little too like modernish? It does. Yeah, let's not do that. We want to keep this plane. It's military. They don't have anything really, really fancy here. Yeah. Okay. Let's take this over this way. So yeah, I mean, stay motivated. I take a lot of breaks, you know, and I and, and, and I tend to tell you guys that a lot in the tutorials. Take yourself a break. Don't try to do it in one sitting. Um, you will. You it, it will burn you out unless you're just that damn excited to uh, to make that build. Um, take a lot of breaks. There, uh, there's absolutely no sense in trying to uh, to do it in one sitting. I've got a lot of different builds going, and uh, this piece here sets in. Um, it's kind of angled back a little bit. I really don't think I want to set it back. Way, you know, way back in there, because it's it's, it's pretty flat. So I think I'm just going to leave this flat. Um, but I've got so many different projects going, guys. Um, I've got stuff down on the so southern part of this map. Uh, that I haven't even uh, started recording videos on. I'm prepping some stuff down there. Um, I've got a lot of stuff over here on the airfield that I'm working on. Uh, I still, from time to time, uh, work on things in the city. Uh, I haven't here in the past couple months, uh, just because I got a little burned out on it. And I got back into the military build, which is good, because um, you know a lot of you, you know, that's why you subscribe to the channel. And I really enjoy the military builds, and I'm highly. Uh, motivated to be doing those right now so it helps you know obviously doing you know builds that you that you want to do that you enjoy doing um, so that's you know that's I guess the biggest motivational uh, tool I guess is <laughs> wanting to do it uh, but keep other builds going that way if you've got a big project like this airfield I've been working on for years um, obviously if I just sat here and tried to complete this airfield I would I would hate Minecraft, um, and I would never want to play it again. And and there's there's been times I've I've reached that point. Um, I've I've got to different points uh, in the past five years where I'm like, fuck this game, I'm done. <laughs> I'm sick of it. Um, and 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 I take a break. I take a complete break from it from a week or two. I stop you know I stop recording, um, and you know just let my mind just ease back out. And usually when I come back, well just about every time I come back. Um, I've got bigger and better builds. Um, you know, there's been some times uh, in the fall, uh, the first couple years of my channel, that I just I stopped doing Minecraft for like two months. Uh, and we did War Z and some other sh uh, other things because I had thought I had reached a point where I mean, I've, I've built everything I want to build in Minecraft, and uh, and and I was getting you know kind of burned out on it. Uh, apparently not. <laughs> Three years later. Uh, I'm still coming up with uh, some really interesting, cool stuff, uh, and the easiest, you know, way that I can explain how I do that is, you know, because I take things from, you know, real life. That's why I like doing modern builds for me. That's what works for me, um, because, you know, I don't think you'll ever run out of 
uh, building things uh, in, a, in a modern spectrum. Uh, fantasy is a little bit harder. You gotta be a hell of a lot more creative. And um, I'm, I'm, I don't really think I'm that creative when it comes to you know, making up my own shit. Um, is that gonna go? Should I leave that set back by one? And let's see. There's some weird trimmer on the outside here. I don't think I'm gonna put that on. I don't think it really needs it. I think that'll look, I think that'll look pretty good. It actually looks really good. Uh, so yeah, that's that's how I stay motivated, guys. I just I move around a lot. Um, unless it's a build I really, really, really want to finish. Um, hmm. Where do I want to take this down to? Because I want to count this out for you guys too. The panel. Let's see. The panels are going to end up about right here. <clears throat> so one, two, three, and then there'll be a framing piece out here. So we can take this one up. So again, if you're following along. Just go straight up from there. Whoops, too high. And then bring this out and over. And then this is going to connect over to the other side. So let's just go ahead and use a little world edit here. Um, and that's actually, uh, let's see, I got another question about that here in a minute. Scott Holden, he asked, oops, I, I don't want to do that. I need to stop right here. Uh, what subjects did you study in school? What was your favorite, least favorite? Uh, you're doing an amazing job. Keep up the great work. Thank you. Um, school, I did a lot of uh, industrial arts type stuff. Uh, uh, I did art class. I used to be able to draw just about anything. Uh, I was really, really good at drawing stuff. Uh, this is going to have to come out to here. Man, that's going to make this really, really wide. And I think is what I'm going to have to do is put some sort of a trim on the outside of this. God, I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to uh, look at it when I'm... Let's get one side done and see what it looks like. But um, anyways, uh, I did a lot of industrial art stuff. So drafting, I've had drafting one, two, and three. Um, I had carpentry classes, metalworking classes, um, art classes, uh, pretty much like I said, any, anything that has to do with um, arts, I was actually going to go to art school when I graduated uh, and decided to go into the Navy instead. Um, so that's, you know, that's how that happened. Let's see what this looks like. Yeah, so I uh, did a lot of painting, airbrushing, drawing, uh, you know, things like that. And that's what I enjoyed doing. And that's what I thought I was going to be doing the rest of my life because I was actually pretty damn good at it. Um, but it just it didn't happen that way. <laughs> life usually doesn't happen the way you think it's going to happen. That is definitely going to have to come out. So let's just go ahead and pull this out. And here. And we're going to bring that out. Was that three? One, two, three. Let's bring that out three. And like facing the wrong direction. And then that way, that leaves that. And it's empty up behind here, so it's no big deal. When we do some detailing on the inside, we can clean that up. Is that too thick? Is that too thick, thick, thick? I don't want to put anything in the corners here because there's nothing on the build itself. But I may have to just because this is Minecraft and the three-foot blocks are really jacking things up. Let's see what this looks like. I don't want to bring that out. That's not bad. I think that's alright. I think I'll go ahead and run that across the bottom, too. Uh, I know it's it doesn't have this on the build, but you know, like always, you want to put your own your own little spin on it. Yeah. I think that looks good, and we'll do the same thing on the other side. Anyways, the panels will start right here. Thanks, Scott, for that question. I uh, hope, uh, hope that answered for you. And I'm going to scroll up for a second. Uh, there it is. The Big Game R. <laughs> big Gamer. What are your thoughts on MC Edit? Does it distract the experience of uh, other players that do not obtain this value. Um, no, I don't. Uh, I, I think it's a very valuable tool and being a builder in Minecraft, um, we need it. <laughs> um, especially if you're going, you know, like me, I, I, I run a channel and if I try to build all this stuff, uh, you know, one block at a time, I would, I would be so far behind, uh, it would be ridiculous. I would never get nothing, nothing built. Um, and I, you know, it, I just can't do that. <laughs> I can't run a channel like that. Um, so yeah, being a builder, 
it definitely helps having this, uh, you know, at my disposal. I'm trying to think what the hell am I doing here. Is that panel rising that track three high? Hmm. This is too wide. Hang on just a second, guys. I'm, I'm thinking. So the tracks are going to ride up in there. That's that. Let's grab that smooth. So now, as a builder, um, it's a very, very valuable tool. I don't think it takes away from uh, cheating, I guess is what uh, somebody had said one time. Uh, I remember reading in a comment section uh, years ago. Anyways, uh, somebody said it, you know, they felt like it was, it was cheating. And this one here we're going to take out. This is going to be the back part of the door, the back panel. Um, so no, I don't think as a builder, I, you know, I, don't, I, I really don't see it that way. Um, I see it as a tool. Um, unless you just like setting every damn block in the game. Uh, I mean, yeah, I, I build everything by hand. Uh, the only thing I don't is like these big sections here. I mean, that would take me a week to set that by hand. I mean, that's just ridiculous. Why would I want to do something like that? Um, or if it's something that, you know, is very, very basic, you know, that, you know, I, I learned how to do um, when I first started playing the game and I've already acquired that, that skill, um, then I feel I'm okay to go ahead and use MC Edit and uh, and take care of uh, you know doing something easy like that, uh, parking lots or um, you know cloning stuff over or whatever. Uh, but I mean, obviously, you have to, have to build stuff like this by hand. So you know that's where you um, you know you learn your skills uh, and get better at building. It's not from building the same old boring shit like parking lots and stuff. You know 600 damn times you know once you build it you know once you know it's a skill you've already uh, acquired there's no sense you know wasting you know valuable build time on easy stupid shit so no i don't i, I don't feel it uh, distracts from from anything like that so anyways that answers that question a little drawn out but i was trying to think uh, actually, I want these to overlap the other way, I believe. So I want this one to come out. This one to go in. And this is just temporary for right now. I just want to get an idea of what these doors are going to look like. And kind of build it up like I did over there. So this one will be in front of that one. And then this one will be in front of that one. Like that. And they'll go up to the top and slide in this track here which goes all the way to here so that keeps our two wide by two wide and then this drops us down even more yeah hmm. yeah i'm gonna have to double that up because that's where this piece goes duh go right there so anyways, thank you for that question, Big Gamer. I uh, hope I answered that for you. Uh, let's see if there's anything else real quick. Uh, people, uh, let's see. BD Zombie asked when the 65 update's coming out. Um, I, I have been working on... <clears throat> if this closes off here. I think I'll leave that open. Um, some little side projects. Uh, some of my older builds uh, I've been uh, making better. And uh, the Enterprise I started a while, uh, uh, several, uh, six, seven, eight months ago. Uh, I was working on it a little bit and uh, completely uh, modernizing it, I guess you'd call it, or, you know, building it better. Because <laughs> uh, my skills, you know, I think are a lot better, you know, especially after the Gerald Ford. You know, I wanted to go back and redo um, the Enterprise and some of my other builds, too, along the way that, um, you know, we're good, but I think, you know, it could be a lot better. Um, so there's my timer. Uh, sorry if it scared the shit out of you. It scared the shit out of me. See, I'm going back and, uh, and rebuilding some of those things. And, and I'm still working on it. And I just, I haven't worked on it in, in a while. So I don't know when it'll be. I'm hoping, I'm hoping this is August right now. I'm hoping by the end of the month I can get over there and get some kind of an update video on that. Um, just because uh, I did get a lot done several months back and I'd like to um, I'd like to show everybody what I've been working on. Are those doors high enough? Now the doors don't feel like they're high enough. I might move those up and that will make this shorter. So let's go ahead and move that up. Let's grab, let's see. Yeah, let's go ahead and grab this 
and move this bitch up. That's good. I'm glad that worked out like that, because now this will look right. <laughs> let's grab... I don't want to grab too much. Here. Let's grab that, and let's move it up. Three. Oh, hell yeah. That's going to work good. And then we can tear this back off. And run that across. And take this out. Let's just go ahead and delete this. What did I do right here? Two. What was that three? Yeah, three. Let's go here. And take that out. And then we're going to be moving this up here. Oops, that piece is shaders is picking up on that. But anyways, we're going to move that up. Yeah, I think that, that looks better. Now I can move this up. <laughs> we're backtracking, guys. I know. I know. If you're following along, I'm, I'm, I'm not making this easy on you, and I'm sorry. We're going to have one gap here at the top, I think. So, when I get this piece in, we will take another look at it. And it basically goes back to where I originally had it. Here. Right across this. There we go. And actually, I could make that solid, but I don't, I don't think I will. All right, so yeah, across the top, we took this top section... And we brought that out one, two, three, four, and that's going to take us to the outside door panels, um, and then of course across the middle, which I believe was 15, and then we're coming down. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten to the bottom of the framing. Uh, it's too wide. Come across, and then connect in to this corner right there in right here off the back of the building but now do let's see one two three this is not going to be here this was the uh yeah let's take that off and then figure out where this was here and three wide one two three so that now will connect in here I may have to move that out by one again because I'm not going to have a track for that to write on. So anyways, I think that's it for the questions, guys. I'll check here in just another second. Let me finish pulling this in so we can figure out. You know what? That could be the inner track right here. That piece right here. Yep. That'll work. And fill that in. And then, what the hell that is. There we go. Much better. Oh, yeah, that looks good. And then we can pull this up by one. Right there. Nope. There we go. That looks good. That looks a lot better, I think. I think that looks a lot better. Maybe one too high. Maybe one too high. Maybe bring it back down one more, guys, off camera. Uh, I think I might adjust this, and if I do in the next episode, I will count out the blocks if I move this down. I still think I might go back down one. I think three was too much. I think if uh, I think maybe just come down by one, because I still want to have them doors, you know, have that that really tall feeling, but I still want to have this feel like it's tall too. Maybe I won't. Maybe I won't mess with it. Maybe I'll just finish building that door. And um, let's see what it looks like. But anyways, over here on the corner, uh, let me check questions, questions. Uh, the simple blaze, are you going to do the double grass textures? Working on the textures a little bit at a time whenever I got time, buddy. Um, favorite sport, cyan mushroom. Um, I think I've covered this before. I'm not a real big sports fan. I never have been. Um, so I don't really have a favorite sport. I really don't have a favorite um, team that I follow. I'm going to show you how to figure this out real quick. So, yeah, sorry, Cyan. I, that's kind of a boring question because I, I'm not a big sports fan. Sorry about that. All right, so we had 43. Uh, we're going to divide that by three panels, 14 apiece. So let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. Just like that. Uh, so 43... Oh. And I guess I know that's what I want to do. I want to go 14 deep this way. Uh, so when the door is completely open, which would be at this threshold right here, and actually set in by one, the door will be fifth, uh, 14. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. 
and then the back framing piece so that it, it goes back in and it completely uh, closes or opens excuse me just like that and then this framing piece here and we'll take that back and you can obviously do not have to fill in the doors um, just the front piece to make it appear like there's actually doors inside you can leave this leave this hollow um, this will just give us the uh, the illusion that the, the door is actually concealed behind here this will probably be a pretty long episode actually guys um, so I got I got rambling oops I need to go up here and set this like that and then let's see from here I know I can hit the arrows and it's sometimes quicker sometimes it's not sometimes it's easier for me just to type it out real quick and then select that off okay so that's what your side panel will look like and then obviously your doors will fill up and that gap and then that back wall will be filled in this will go all the way up to the top like this and you see the, sh the shaders is picking up that selection I thought I unselected it and I'll just bring that door out to here and I'll bring this panel out in front of that and I'll bring this one out in front of that and they'll tuck up behind it and that will look pretty damn awesome I'll do the same thing on the other side and then I'll copy this onto the front um, so we'll have the exact same pattern so there's no sense doing a whole nother episode just for the front um, I'm just gonna attach it to the front <laughs> uh, uh, on the back I put a five block gap on the front I'm gonna have a five block gap so one two three four five and this is where the the first panel or the first the first smooth piece will be and then three and then the outside door here and then of course the inside door actually we'll do it like that on the fifth block and then the three and then the outside panel so we're gonna be clear out to here and we should have a a uh, five block gap here that you can walk around uh, the airplane while you're inside the hangar bay um, just like we do over here if the doors were shut um, if I take this straight across I should I, I've got a five block gap back here now too four or five something like that again if you're following along um, pretty simple just adjust it to what you think looks good I'm gonna do the rest off camera uh, no more questions from episode seven is that where we're yes point from episode seven appreciate all the questions guys uh, keep them coming if you got them if not no big deal I know eventually we're going to run out of questions and, uh, and that's fine um, I'll just start reading comments <laughs> whatever uh, but like always guys I appreciate you watching remember to rate comment subscribe follow me on Twitter and I'll catch you guys on the next one later